Have you ever smoked a turkey and the skin just comes out a little bit tough or chewy or people cut into it at dinner time and it just kind of falls off and nobody eats it? Well, that got me thinking, why don't I just smoke a turkey without the skin on it at all? That way I can ensure that all the smoke flavor from my Oklahoma Joe's offset smoker gets onto the turkey meat. And if my old school dad likes it, then that'll be a pretty good indication that this is a good method that I might want to use for Christmas. Step one is to remove the skin on the turkey. Get yourself a really sharp knife for this. I'm using a Dalstrong Valhalla boning knife and it's, it's super sharp. And I'm gonna start by cutting the skin off of the turkey leg. It's just like removing Mr. Turkey's skin pants. It's that easy. You just have to make a cut and then we'll just take them off and that's a really weird analogy. I'm gonna stop with it right now. Now I'm going to make an incision at the back here because it doesn't really matter if I cut into the meat back here. There's just, there's a lot of bone back here. There's not as much presentation side meat that I have to worry about. So I'll just make a cut all around the perimeter of the thigh. There we go. And now you can kind of just peel it back. You can kind of just peel that back over top of the leg, over top of the thigh. And look at that, look at that. It is just like taking pants off. You're just taking those pants off and this is still a weird analogy. I'm probably gonna edit it out of the video. And now I'm going to cut around the wing and we'll pull it up and over the breast. And there's a bit of, I don't know, I'd call this probably silver skin that you might just have to cut away as you're pulling it. And after you're done, you should have a whole pile of skin that you can just throw in the garbage. And this is what the skinned bird looks like. Step two, we're going to inject the bird with some brine and butter. I don't like wet brining very much. It takes a long time and it's just really messy, especially with turkey. So I'm just gonna inject the breast and the thighs and the legs with some butter. I've got three cups of melted butter, unsalted butter, because I wanna control the salt. And I've got a teaspoon of salt dissolved in the brine mixture, sorry, the injection mixture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a couple of pumps into the breast. So I'll start from the very tip here and I'll just give it a good pump full of injection. And then I'll move about an inch away and I'll give it another one. And I'll just keep doing that all the way up the breast until I get a lot in there and you'll see it'll actually bulge out a little bit. It'll, it'll bulge out and that tells you that the brine is doing its job and it's going to actually stay in there and start working its magic with that salt that is melted and dissolved in this butter. So I'll just give this another couple of shots and these, these breasts on these turkeys go really deep. So you kind of got to penetrate pretty far into the breast. There we go. We'll get a lot of it in there. And this is why you need a lot of butter. Three cups sounds like a lot, but it, uh, it doesn't go very far. And you'll notice because the turkey is cold, the butter will start to actually um, come to the surface a little bit and it'll start solidifying. It'll start solidifying into flakes. And that's okay because we're going to uh, use that just to baste the outside of the turkey breast. There we go, I'm happy with the breast. Now I'm going to move on to the drums and the thighs. And what I like to do for the drums is I just start at the very end of the, the leg here. And then I'll sort of poke it upwards and give it a few shots all around the muscle. And lastly, we'll do the thighs, pretty similar to the breast. We're just uh, injecting it in one inch increments and wait for it to balloon up a little bit, then move about an inch over. Give it another shot. So three good injections will be good. And that is a fully injected bird. Now we're going to use the remainder or some of the remaining butter to just baste the outside of the turkey a little bit because now that it doesn't have any skin, it's going to need a little bit of protection to prevent that turkey meat from turning into turkey jerky. Step three, place your turkey into your smoker with the legs facing the heat source. We want the legs and the thighs to take that direct heat. 
they need to come to a higher temperature, 180, 190. Well, the breast needs to finish at around 155 degrees Fahrenheit. So we want those legs and thighs taking the brunt of the heat in my Oklahoma Joe's offset smoker. The heat source comes from the heat box on the right. So I'm putting my legs facing right and we're going to let that turkey smoke for approximately five hours total at around 275 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. But I'm going to check back on it in an hour and I'll tell you guys what I'm gonna do at that point in just a second. Step four, after the first hour, I'm opening up the smoker and I'm basting the bird with more liquid butter. Now remember, we wanna protect that turkey meat because it doesn't have the skin to protect it from the heat. We don't want it to dry out. So we're giving it a liberal basting of butter. The more butter, the better. And I'm doing this often, maybe up to every 30 minutes I'm checking on it because I want to make sure none of the edges are drying out too much or getting too tough or too hard because we don't want a barky, tough exterior on the turkey when we cut into it. Step five, when the breast gets a nice color on it, could be after about 30 minutes, could be an up to an hour, could be two hours. I'm going to cover up just the breast with foil. We want to slow down the cooking process now that we've got some nice color on the breast and we want to allow the legs and the thighs to catch up. Step six, after a few hours, we're taking a look at the turkey again, opening up the smoker and we're checking the temperature in the thighs and in the breast. If the thighs are sitting around 180, 190, that's good. But if the breast is coming up really quickly, it's already hit 155 and the thighs or the legs are only at around 165 and they've got a ways to go, you might need to slow down the breast cooking process a little bit more and I'll tell you how I'm gonna do that. The way that I do that is injecting again. And because I'm Canadian and I love my maple syrup, I gotta use some maple syrup in this. So I've got a mixture of refrigerator temperature, cold water with maple syrup. There's a cup of cold water and there is a third of a cup of maple syrup dissolved in there. We're going to inject it directly into the turkey breast and that is gonna bring the temperature down. It is going to allow the thighs to catch up in temperature and it's going to allow the breast to finish at the perfect temperature of 155 exactly when those thighs are done. So why am I doing this? It sounds like a little bit crazy, but YOLO. And finally, step seven, when your turkey's done, slice into the breast. I'm using a long dowel strong slicing knife. I slice it into nice uh, turkey breast slices, plate it up, and then I chop up the uh, turkey thighs and the drums into the dark meat and I serve it up. So good. So that's, there's no skin on it. It's just smoked on the outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet there's two different tastes on here. Yeah? Yeah. There's maple syrup on, on it, butter. Well, I get two different tastes. Um, I, I can taste the smoke but it's, it's just contrasting. That's good. Mm. Is it kind of dry though? No, it's not as dry as I thought it was going to be. No. It's not as dry as your mom's turkey? That's not dry. That's like eviscerated. 